My wife was in the bed and I immediately crawled into bed to get some rest, to get up early the next morning to try to keep things going. And immediately the telephone started ringing and I picked it up. On the other end was an ugly voice. That voice said to me in substance, nigger, we are tired of you and your mess now. And if you are out of this town in three days, we're gonna blow your brains out and blow up your house. I'd heard these things before, but some reason that night it got to me. I turned over and I tried to go to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. I was frustrated the will. Then I got up and went back to the kitchen and I started warming some coffee, thinking that coffee would give me a little relief. And then I started thinking about many things. I pulled back on the theology and philosophy that I had just studied in the university, trying to give philosophical and theological reasons for the existence and the reality of sin and evil. But the answer didn't quite come back. I sat there and thought about beautiful little daughter who had just been born about a month earlier. We had four children now, but we only had one then. She was the darling of my life. I'd come in night after night and see that little gentle smile. And I sat at that table thinking about that little girl and thinking about the fact that she could be taken away from anything. I started thinking about a dedicated, devoted, and loyal wife who was over that taken from me, I could be taken from her. I got to the point that I couldn't take it any longer, I was weak. Something said to me, you can't call on daddy now, he's up in Atlanta, 175 miles away. You can't even call on mama now. You gotta call on that something in that person that you daddy used to tell you about that power that can make a way out of nowhere I discovered then that religion had to become real to me and I had to know God 